morning, friends. Good morning, Sebastian. I'm so glad you're here because we're a little short on boys today, aren't we? <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all these beautiful girls, though. I am so glad that you guys are all here today, and guess what? It's a Sunday school day, so we're going to head back in just a few minutes to Sunday school, and we're going to learn another amazing story from this book right here. Do you know what this book is? Please tell me you know what this book is. The Bible, great. Yes, we are going to learn a story about Jesus as a boy today, because this book, this Bible, has so many great stories that teach us so many things. I love books. I love this book. But I love books, and one of the most exciting days in the world for me is when I go to the mailbox, and this box is in my mailbox. And if you are a teacher, you will all know what this box is. If you're not, I'm going to tell you. Do you guys know what this box is? Have you seen this at school, maybe? This is a Scholastic Book box. So when the Scholastic Book orders come in that you order at school, they come in this box a box that looks just like this. So yesterday, when I got the mail, it was a really good day because this box was in my mailbox. And there was more in there than what I'm going to take out now. But there were some, these are my books that I ordered from Scholastic this time. I have a book called Moo Hoo. It's about a cow that cries over everything. Does that sound like an interesting book? It is actually really cute. This one's called The Pout Pout Fish and the Worry Worry Whale. Oh my goodness, I think they're having some struggles there. But this one, I pulled this one out. This is the first time I ever read this yesterday, and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to come. And just like I want to share stories from the Bible with you in Sunday school, today I was like, I have to share some of this. I'm going to share the story with you. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Maybe in Sunday school we can. Um, but I want to tell you about this book because it is so amazing. And you know what the cool thing is? It's not the Bible but it's got a story and a message that's pretty close to what we find in the Bible. This book is called The Gecko. Do you know what a gecko is? Yeah. A gecko is like a little lizard. And the echo. Do you know what an echo is? No. Yeah, like sometimes when you're in a tunnel, so you're in a closed-in space, and you say something, and then you hear your voice back because it echoed off the walls in the tunnel, or a lot of times people think about an echo like in a big canyon um, or in the mountains. You can hear your voice echo back if you speak out. Sometimes I can hear my voice that way on this microphone. Um, but this story is about this gecko, and oh my goodness, he thinks he is special. He says, I'm Goldie the Great. Check me out, drink me in, hear me sing, watch me dance. I can do anything. Someday very soon I will be a great star. I know if I practice that I will go far. So he already knows he's amazing, but he knows he has to practice. So unfortunately, he practices all the time. So he's always singing. And unfortunately, his singing annoys everybody else. He wakes the baby geckos and the birds when he, when he sings. He sings when other people are trying to sleep at night. And finally, his friends said, that's it. You're out of here. You got to go. So the story goes that he takes off because they're tired of hearing him trying to practice his singing. And he goes into the canyon, kind of like we were just talking about. So see this beautiful picture of this canyon? And what do you think he does there? He sings. That's right. He sings. And guess what he hears? He hears the echo. He hears his voice come back at him. And he's rather startled. And he doesn't understand because he's never heard of such a thing as an echo. He thinks it's somebody else, right? And so in the story, along comes this, it looks like a butterfly to me. Um, and she says, you don't, you don't understand that's your voice you're hearing. It's not somebody else. And he's like, what do you mean? That possibly, that can't possibly be. That terrible wailing, that ruckus is me? Oh my goodness. He didn't realize. Oh my goodness. That was so bad. That was so bad. But the butterfly shares with him this message. And she says, greatness is not what you do, but how you are doing it that matters too. So 
he was singing and he was practicing and he was annoying people while he was doing it, right? Because he was trying to get better. But how, so how he did it wasn't so good, right? Because he was annoying everybody. But he learned a lesson and it ends up that he figures out he wants to go back home and share the lesson that he learned. And it says, Goldie found out that true greatness can be not just for one, but for you and for me. Whatever our journey, whichever our track, what we send out will always come echoing back. And so if we know that we get what we give, then giving out love is a great way to live. And so at the end of the story, this is the very end, he's learned that, that lesson. At the end of the story, he's using his singing voice instead of waking up the babies while they're sleeping, he sings softly and he puts the babies to sleep. And other times he sings to make other people happy, like at a celebration. He learned to use his gift and keep practicing, but practicing in a way that showed love to other people, to show love to the babies, to get them to sleep, right, instead of waking them up. So he learned that he could use his gift of singing and give it back to others and echo it back when he gave out something beautiful something beautiful came back, love, right? And that's what we talk about here all the time. We talk about how Jesus came and he taught us to love. And he taught us not to love, just love in this building and just by reading this book. Um, but he wants us to do that here because he loves it when we all come together and gather here. But he wants us to go out into the world and share his love with other people so that it can echo through the whole world. And you guys, I know, are amazing at sharing and spreading love. And we're going to talk about that some more in Sunday school today. But my challenge for you this week is that you go out and see if you can be that echo. See if you can go out in the world, maybe at school this week, and share love with somebody else and let that love echo. It'll echo back at you, but it will also echo to all the other people around that can hear it and see it and feel it. It's pretty cool, huh? We can, we can make Jesus' love echo everywhere. But before we go, do you want to echo a prayer with me? Do you want to repeat after me? Should we do an echo prayer? Here we go. Good morning, God. Good morning, God. We are so happy to be here. We are so happy to be here. Where we learn about you. Where we, learn about you. Where we share with other people. Where we share with other people. And we continue to grow. Help us as we leave here to shine and show your love and echo it in the world around us. In Jesus' precious name, amen. All right, friends, let's head on back to Sunday school.